everyone and welcome back to another film of Farming Simulator 15 Gold Edition with me, Blue Star. How are all you guys doing? I believe if I remember right, last time we ended the last episode, we ended up with these brand new pieces of equipment here, the vendor at Zag Cedar here. Um, you know, it's making quick work, helping us uh, cultivate and seed our fields in one pass real quick. And the other main piece of equipment we got right here was this, you know, what they actually refer to. I know it's part of the forestry, it's the Steppa. Um, you know, what is it? A tree fork? Tree loading thing? And of course, we got our chainsaw. That way we can, you know, start getting rid of some of these pesky trees. So, what I was going to do is, you know, start off this episode getting rid of this tree right here. Cut, cutting it down. Maybe. Maybe have to do that one right there. That way we can go ahead and see how, you know, just the removal of just a couple of, or a few trees here will. Fully affect make this field of ours come in be effective to ours. I know last time, you know, been one of the first times I've used some of this uh, new forestry equipment. Um, had a little, you know, get get to getting to learn the equipment and use it type of issue. I think that's gonna be the lowest we can be able to cut it, guys. So let's try it. Okay. Oops, there it goes. Okay, so it wants to fall that way. Not a problem. <coughs> let's see here. Um, let's cut this one off. Uh, as you can see, you can just barely nick the trees here and these little dead limbs like this, they just fall off. Let's see. Let's try this. So if I remember some of these little controls here. Nope, I only want this one right now. Grip it there. Come on. We're moving the trailer, we're not moving the tree. Okay. Oh, no wonder we're against the fence post. Or a telephone pole, I mean. There we go. Okay, that looks like it's all the way up in here. At least the best we're going to be able to get it. Now, last time, because I didn't trim it like this, we lost the, our load and had to come back and redo it, so... Yeah, pretty much right. Take that one off there. Take this one off there. Okay.
remembering for these controls which one goes which way. Lift it up, now fold her arm down, now we can bring it forward. Okay. I hope we had a real good way just, you know, just to get rid of some of these limbs. I mean, my limbs with the leaves that we can see. How bad are we hanging off here? So I'm gonna cut those dead branches I see in there off, but Okay, the trailer should be right in here. I'm not really sure if I can see you there guys. Let's fold this up. Try gently moving this. Uh, I think we got it. Let's try it. Down the hill. Looks like that one piece might be trying to slide out a little bit. Not the best, you know, but <clears throat> at least we're getting rid of a couple of these pesky trees that's in our way, guys. Oops. Yeah. We're losing our cargo. Okay. They're putting this tree on board. Again, here we are in the middle of the road. What would be nice is I know in real life, lo uh, logging trucks like this, once you get your logs on, you have to chain and boom, boom them down.
rotate our camera views around here a little bit. Oops. Okay, try. Now let's try something I've seen before. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to work, but we'll see if we can put a little bit of downward pressure right here in the middle of this. Back out of the road and let the cars go. Okay, we'll set our cruise to 10 mile an hour. The trees are still, you know, glitching there and turning a little bit. But we seem to have them for the most part. Just a long way to the pond. I really do think, you know, when they, when they thought forestry and they planned it all out, they did, you know, plan for the fir type trees. These trees here are just, they're just not that friendly. You know, taking account of all the branches and limbs and twigs and things we have in our way. Go ahead and do our crossover here. Yeah. I know when twenty fifteen originally came out I had done a little forestry had, had tried with it and for the most part I just laid it down like eh, I'll deal with it if I need to mess with a tree but for the most part now I've heard you know once you get closer to the more in-game stuff you know we get the great big scorpion that way you can go up there and cut one of those great big fir trees down um, bring it over tell it you know you want it every log five meters long and you know they're long and straight as the pond recommend, uh, recommended and you know a little help help tip you know, you're just able to sit there and say we'll cut, it, cut, cut each tree into three to four pieces. I think that would stack a lot better on this trailer and just you know, allow us to haul it in. I've also heard that one works better on the wood chipping. So to me that's more the in-game forestry part. The early stages like this when we're here we're dealing with a couple of you know what I consider nuisance birch trees are just in my way, you know, in my, in my opinion there, in a way of what I have an envision of how I want to change up the field and farm. And this is probably nowhere near the proper way to, you know, sell a tree. But who knows, maybe it is for, for putting it in the pond. Act like, it's, act like this is a boat ramp trailer. Just back it down in the side and offload it all offload your boat in this case it's trees for us it gets the job done now I think at the other lumber mill all the way down there in the lower left side field 33 I think it actually has a yellow and black black striped box like the farm shop has here you know for its cell uh, location you just literally just drive through um, I thought there was one other place that had something like that. Maybe the biomass heating plant. I think also had one. So we can check when we get down near those fields. I know right now for where we're currently working, the sawmill looks like to be the better the options to try to 
pick and get rid of it. <coughs> you know, we're not making a huge profit selling trees this way, but I think in a way it, it does help because we're at least able to remove them. That way we're able to use our field better. So right now, you know, it's worth it to me. I could probably, you know, stack lots and lots more trees on here. It's just, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't found a solid way to get them to stay on. Lock, it, lock them in place or something. So, let's actually hire this hand real quick. Because I want to see how big of an effect and change this is going to help this field out right here. Again, because of that great demand, I'm putting canola on all four of these fields. Looks like we're going to have to move probably, I'm going to call this an oak tree. That Yeah, that oak tree is definitely going to be in the way. And probably that other birch tree beside it. So... Let me do this so I can line it up. Definitely is making a lot making quick work of you know harvesting sorry cultivating seeing these fields real quick okay go up turn around like this bump the house wasn't intentional but it happened I think that made a little a lot easier turning without that tree being there. You probably noticed uh, as I went around, you know, I I literally would have hooked and hung on that tree. I know we still have the stump of it sticking up, but I got think I got it cut low enough where it won't have a major impact right now. So we can get the stump grinder out and cut that down. So my general idea, also, guys, I think I mentioned last time. You know, I want to take down pretty much all these trees south of this field here and all of them that's over to the side of it yeah well, we missed it that time so we can turn back on ourselves here Let's just let him run on for a, for a few minutes by himself. He should easily be able to make that turn because that tree's out of his way. Yep. Looks like he's not having a problem. So what I'll probably do after, you know, I'll get this uh, field planted, guys. We'll go ahead and... Um, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and end the episode, but I'm starting, you know, working on removing some more of these trees. Um, you know, probably take out this one right here behind me, and at least those two on the other end, and we'll see how that's going, um, we'll speed up timing a little bit, um, come back, harvest, har harvest these fields, start, you know, saving our grain up again, um, I'll probably go ahead and start, you know, also working on pulling down this entire row of trees here, oh, wow, I'm just thinking of how much work I just added to myself. Uh-oh. 
Yep. That tree right there is definitely on the list of removal now. there partially there we go <coughs> so one tree down there this one's probably well they're all gonna go no sense talking about why don't we just start cutting them down That one's going. If we can get it lined up. That one should go. Anything? Oh, that's right. Come on. <laughs> we didn't hit it. We just looked at it really good. I know personally in life I've cut down a few trees, you know, with the help of friends and family. Um, I don't think I've ever had a a major mishap yet. Uh, where's there it is? You know, I've heard reports of you know people cutting down trees and you know the tree end up in their home, they're through the, hitting a car or something. <coughs> Luckily, knock on wood, anything y'all like to say about that, about, you know, getting luck, I'm going to nick this. Oh, look at there, it's going to fall before I hit it. Okay. Fix this little section that was missed right here. Okay. I should at least have our fields... What is it? Sown is the actual term they use. Seeded, sown. This one gonna fall as we approach it. Yeah. What about our big oak right here? I like to at least tip them over while I can still remember them. That way I remember which ones are cut and are not cut for when I do cut them down. Am I on the wrong side? Yes, I am. Oops. See, that's what happens right there, guys. If you're not paying attention where you're driving, you just run into all random sorts of stuff. 
think this is already done. I just want to... Yeah, I thought it was already done. Uh, how long have we been? Oh, we got a few minutes. Let's start working on picking up one of these trees. See if this helps, you know, get rid of some of these. Actually, that that's somewhat helping. That may have been our problem, guys, right there. You know, I wasn't fully. Was it? Deleafing, debranching. Okay, that looks kind of straight. That one's bent. Mm. I'm going to cut it here. Try not to cut here. Let's cut there. Cut this about you know, midway. I think that's about mid. Okay. See if this loads up any better. this way. No, I'm not doing a lot of talking, guys. Just trying to sit here and focus on loading these trees up. a little long but 
Furniture doesn't look like they stack correctly. See if we can reach the far, far one. Be nice if you know if there's a way to lock the camera. Okay, let's see if we have max extension here. If we can reach out there and grab it. Maybe. We have it. Looks like we got it. I don't know if that helps or not. So this is when actually you would want to chain and boom those in place. What am I doing? We need to try to double up our load here. That's right, I just ran down it. here. Well, um, come back up a little bit. About in here. No. Let's just try cutting it off right in here. Back at it. I think it's this one right here if I can get it. Where's my mark? There it is. That may have been part of our problem, guys. You know, I wasn't fully delimbing it or debranching it. Okay. Hop back up 
here, unfold our support legs. We literally have the Y, guys. <laughs> okay, pull this up. the right angle here on the camera. Okay, that should have him inside. <sighs> Can we get two for one or is this gonna make a mess? Oops, oops, please don't, please don't. Let them fall in there. Thank you. Okay guys, this time we'll get two trees on board. We'll see how this works, especially the fact that we delimbed them. Debranched. They don't seem to be moving too bad. Actually, this stable as looking, I might as well go ahead and get this third tree right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, you gotta cut it down first. Um, think about right here. Let's go ahead and take this one off. Then we'll go ahead and cut it right and I'm starting to see it. Where is it at? There.
Now lengthwise, this one needs to be cut about in here. Okay, that's already separated, so that one's only that long, that one's that long. And yeah, we'll go ahead and get this one in half right here. If I can find, there it is. Okay. So this ain't turning out too bad. Now that I'm figuring out pieces of how it works. Um, hopefully that'll be good enough. Okay. Oop, the other way, extend the arm out. See if we can go for that far one right now. Uh-oh. I don't like it jumping like that, guys. One piece left.
Of course. Isn't that the way normal things are normally in life? It's that very last piece that you're trying to do that sometimes can be the... The biggest challenge. Okay, open the jaws, down, close. Now we have it. Okay, let's try this very gently. Put a little pressure on it. Not a lot. Okay, guys, we got, was it, three full trees on here now? Everything's looking stable so far. Come on, stay on the road. Hold it stable. So there's our chicken pen. Probably shouldn't be doing this, especially when I'm carrying the trees. Your chicken coop. As soon as you buy some chickens, to, they get delivered directly to this spot. Chickens lay eggs, which you can then sell at the market spots on the map. That's what I kind of, you know, expected it to say. Actually, chickens, we don't, if I'm right, we don't have to feed, so it's just a matter of purchasing the chickens and they start laying eggs. The only thing about them is, you know, we have to go and collect the eggs and then go turn them in. Where on, like, cows, for instance, you know, you automatically got the milk truck that comes by and collects the milk for you. The sheeps, they, auto they automatically shear the sheep for you. You just have to go collect the wool pallet when it's full, empty it off. Okay, let's see if we can... So far, so good. So we were negative $2,200 in debt, and now we're down to negative $76. So that's just a little over $2,000 for three trees. That's not bad. We can start to make money doing that. See, let's check the time now. Ooh, okay. We're starting to approach the 50 minute mark, guys. So I think I'm going to call an end to the episode here. Um, as you can see, we're starting to get better learning to use our... What's the actual name of this thing again? Forestry equipment. It's the Stepa FLK... I'm oh, sorry, FHL13AK. Um, so... As you see, we're getting a little bit better. You know, it does help to delim them. Note to those of you who are watching this and thinking about playing or fixing to be getting into this stuff, getting into a little bit of the forestry stuff. Um, make sure you you do delim the trees. They stack better. They sit on the trailer a lot better for the ride. So, 
Again, guys, this has been Farming Simulator 15 Gold Edition. A little bit of uh, forestry service here. Uh, with Blue, my name is Blue Star again. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like, share, uh, subscribe buttons. Well, I guess you can go ahead and hit the dislike too if you really hated it. Um, that is your option. Um, but you know, pick your choice. Push the button. Um, help me grow my channel. I appreciate. It. Thanks, and catch you next time. Bye for now.